So we're in week eight of doing what nobody has ever done before, and that's turn one of these hundred dollars into a million dollars. Absolutely everything has been documented here on my YouTube channel. We're already eight weeks into the series where I'm documenting it on my YouTube, Instagram, Telegram, Discord, so not only you guys learn from my mistakes, but can also copy the trades that I am taking and see exactly what my strategy is about. We started seven weeks ago in the first attempt. We obviously blew it, but now last week we turned $46,000 to $80,000. This week, we're gonna try and turn those $80,000 to $160,000. I know it sounds crazy, but we're already two months into this challenge. So let's see what this week takes us and let the series begin. All right, what's up guys? So it is Sunday, market open. So let me show you guys the pairs that we're gonna be trading this week because what? We gotta turn these 80K, well, technically 78,000 into 160 by the end of this week. I was doing the math on the lots that we gotta start using, and we're probably already hitting the 80, 90 lots where, you know, if you throw 100 lot, that's say you know, you're a big boy, big boy. So let me show you guys the account. So right here we are currently at $78,000 on the account. And it's kind of crazy how we've literally turned the $100 into this. And now this week, the goal is to obviously turn it into 160, which is going to be double that. So last week, if you guys saw last week's video, we only took one trade and one trade took us from 20, that, no, it was from 40,000 to the 78,000 that we are now. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go to last week. So let's break down the top three or top four pairs that I'm gonna be trading this week. So let me show you guys. So let's start off with my number one pair for the week, which is going to be AUD USD. So we have the weekly bearish, daily bearish, and then the four hour time frame is bullish. So obviously this means that the majority of the markets are headed to the downside. So the most logical thing to do on this trade would be to then buy. As you guys can see, we have two time frames down, one time frame up. The one time frame that is up does not outweigh these two time frames that the market is going down. So you guys can see here, this is the strong area of interest. You have one rejection, one above, one rejection, one above, and whenever under, we are selling. So as of right now, I've placed this line right here because I want price to come back into this area to then retest to go to the downside. As you guys can see, we have broken through that zone already because the market is moving very fast. Like the market's been open probably for a couple of hours and we've already broken through the zone. I drew this up probably earlier today while the market had just opened at five o'clock. It's around midnight right now on Sunday. So we were looking for price to pull back into this area right here, reject and then sell. So for right now, we are no longer interested in this trade because it has broken above the area of interest. You can see whenever we are above this area, we are buying. So I'm gonna simply be waiting for price to now come do this break this area, retest under round psychological 64,000, and then I will be interested in a trade. So my bias remains the same. I just have to wait for the break under the area of interest to then sell. Next, AUD CAD. So AUD CAD is very similar to AUD USD. You have a very clean left head, right shoulder at a strong area of interest. This right here is your head and shoulders. And right now we're coming back up to create that right shoulder once again at a strong area of interest. And very similar to AUD USD, the weekly time frame on this is bearish, daily time frame is bearish as well. And then the four hour, let's check the four hour. The four hour is bearish. So this is the lower high point right here. So this would be the lower high. And then this would be the lower low at that structure point right there. As you can see, we haven't broken above or under either of those two structure points, meaning that the four hour time frame is bearish as well. So this right here gives us an even more clear indication that this market is going to start heading to the downside because we have all three time frames in sync. So the most logical thing to do is to look for a sell. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And that is why I place this area of interest right here, because whenever we are under, we're selling. Whenever we're under, we're selling. Whenever we're above, we're buying. Whenever we're above, we're buying. And as you can tell right here, we're under, so we're going to then sell. So I'm gonna simply be waiting for a rejection from this area. It can be anything around a bearish engulfing candlestick, then a wick pullback, but I am ready to take this trade very, very, very soon. I think this can even happen tonight during London, but this is my second number one pair for the week, which actually it's gonna to move to my top one because this AUD USD trade is no longer as high of a probability trade as AUD cash. So I'm gonna be looking to enter this trade very soon now during London. Next we have 
AUDJPY. So these are the two trades that we took. I think it was on week three or week four of the challenge, which we lost these trades right here. As you can see, all the trades that I take, I always leave in the history of the market. And this week on this trade, I have a very simple analysis. Keep it very simple. And is I'm just gonna wait for the market. We are on the daily time frame right now. You guys can tell right here, we're on the daily time frame. I'm just gonna wait for this market to do two things. Either break out to the upside, I wait for the retest to then buy, or wait for the breakout to the downside, wait for the retest and then sell. As you can see, we've been accumulating at this area now for almost two months, and I don't wanna get stuck in this zone. Whenever we break under, this is a very strong, well-respected area of interest. So then once we break under, we'll then sell. So we'll break retest sell or break retest buy. Very simple. And it is the exact same thing that we're looking for on uh, NZDJPY. But NZDJPY, we wanna take the buys to the upside, but doesn't really matter. As you can see right here, we're creating a very solid inverted head and shoulders, left head, right shoulder. So what we need to do is for us to break that neckline and then retest to keep heading to the upside. Whenever we're under the zone, we're selling. Whenever we're above, we're buying. Above, above, buying, under selling. So we're literally just looking for the market to do what we just did right here. Break, retest, buy, break, retest, buy. But for now, we're gonna keep our focus on AUD CAD, which is looking very solid to give us an entry very soon. So I know that might be information overload, but we do this every week with the students. We do this every week on Instagram, Telegram. You guys should know by now. So let's check in uh, tomorrow in the morning because we're gonna take a quick nap. Probably have, we have two hours, two and a half hours before London session starts and I'm ready for war. All right, what is up guys, good morning. So it's a later morning than how I usually do the updates, but it is the official first Monday morning of the week. And we got into the trade exactly as, as I explained, a little bit in drawdown, but let me show you guys how it's looking right now. So it is currently right now, 11.20 in the morning. Usually I update around 9.30 in the morning, but the market literally had no movement. So we got in on the AUD CAD trade when price pulled back to the area of interest. As I've been anticipating, price came back retested it now in the daily perfectly rejecting this point right here i love the four hour rejection candlestick i love how it had a solid bearish engulfing confirming that area and then most important most importantly on the pullback from the 30 minute time frame it had that bearish engulfing evening star formation right there so i went pretty low risk i risked about 15 percent on this trade uh it's the beginning of the week that i want to go too crazy so i'm going to add a position once we do this right here once we kind of either break and retest this zone right here. Let me just draw it out, this zone right here, or once we break and retest this zone right here. Let me just get that box one second. So many things, so there you go. Once I break and retest this zone right here, I'll be potentially adding another trade. So now we're looking so far, AUD, USD, pretty much broke through that area of interest. So as of right now, no longer interested in it until we don't break and retest under. NZD, JPY, still waiting for the breakout to the upside. We're gonna keep remaining patient on this one. And then AUD, JPY, pretty much same thing, waiting for the breakout. So just to recap, basically how we're looking right now, and we're just gonna do a little quick. So I don't forget. Yo, trade update. Hey, oh no. All right, yeah, we're good. <laughs> so we're here with the boy Jordan right now. Yo. So trade update, let me show you guys exactly how the trade is looking. So we're up right now about $4,400 on the trade. So looking pretty solid. So right now we're with the boy Jordan. We're gonna go eat right now. Uh, and then after that, probably hit the gym. Yo, drop drop him some wisdom, bro. Just say some, some words. Wisdom. Yeah, some words of wisdom. Um, so the main thing in anything, guys, is consistency. So you guys are seeing Alex, for example, on his 100 to 80K. You guys are seeing the consistency every single day, how he shows up. Even if he doesn't trick a trade, he shows up. And me, myself as well, I'm on a 12 week consecutive winning streak. And it's literally the consistency that gets you there. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Like for example, if you haven't seen my story, you should check it out on Instagram. It'll definitely motivate you if you're like in a tough spot or if you're going through something. But like I said, it's a consistency in the tough spots that will get you to the, to the better spots. Simple. And more of the story. Set up Set up for Set up for <laughs> All right, market update. So it is currently 9.22 at night. You guys can see we're currently up about $7,000 on the trade. Well, $7,000 right now. Trade is looking very, very precise, but we're about to enter London session. You know, London session can go crazy in our favor or against it. So let me show you guys. 
So this is exactly what we are waiting for on AUDCAD. As you can tell, we entered up here earlier this morning perfectly. We entered pretty much little to no drawdown. We entered at the bearish and of that candlestick. So now I love the fact of how we're doing what we anticipated if I were to want to enter a trade, which was a retest of the zone to then keep heading to the downside. I didn't add an entry just because we weren't in the right session. But now if we do have a pullback into this area a little bit more solid and then we reject, I will be adding an entry. We just have to make sure the momentum of London session doesn't break through this zone and then kind of go back into our entry and potentially put us into drawdown on this trade. So I don't like the fact of how the daily time frame has closed one second my computer's glitching i don't like how this daily time frame has closed above that candlestick right there i don't like how the wick has wicked above that point right there i really don't like that but i do like how my stop loss is above that wick because even if this daily candlestick wick decides to go a little bit higher it'll probably not break above this one it'll create a higher wick just like this one an equal wick to that length and an equal wick to that length we are still good in the trade stop loss is above and it's still under the area of interest so the goal and the ideal thing for tomorrow would be a bearish engulfing to then break the zone to keep heading to the downside so we're going to look for a little pullback to add a trade if not our next added entry will then be at this area right here to then take the trade to the downside AUD USD, we are still waiting for the same exact thing, waiting for price to break and retest the zone in order for us to sell to the downside. NZD JPY, we are waiting for this time frame to break out to either side still. We haven't done that. And same thing with AUD JPY, waiting for it to break out. So, so far, the only trade we are in is looking very nice, very precisely in profit. And uh, yeah, now we just set and forget. All right, what is up, guys? Good morning. So it is currently nine, well, pretty much 10 in the morning. I was just doing the Instagram stories right now. We were trading London last night. We caught the trade that I explained last night perfectly to the T. We have officially turned a hundred dollars into six figures. So let me show you guys a trade and not how only I caught it, but how everybody on my Instagram, everybody on my Discord, Telegram, everybody, these trades are out there publicly. So this is where we currently are on the account. We're currently up about $32,000. We are up at $111,000 in equity. We took the AUD CAD trade. So this is yesterday's trade that we were in drawdown, went into profit, and then we added this position last night during London session. Very clean, very simple trade, but it is exactly what I explained. We explained earlier this week we were going to wait for price to come back into this area to then sell. And then last night during London session or before London session, I explained that, hey, guys, I'm going to be waiting for a pullback into then this level to enter the trade. Would you look at that? We have a perfect double top entry confirmation from rejecting this area of interest. And not only do we have a double top, but then we have a bearish engulfing candlestick evening star formation confirming that rejected. And if you look at the time, if I just drag this all the way down here, that is at 3.30 in the morning, which it is London session. But that's not only it. If we come here to the free telegram, you guys can see how in the free telegram, I sent it last night. I sent it literally at midnight. And I said, cough, 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 take the trade. I even sent a reminder at 1.20 in the morning. This is what I sent to the telegram people at 1.20 in the morning. Um, want to say good morning, more blessings and more love. I know a lot of y'all hugging your pillow, putting slob all over it, with the zippers in, and flicking wounds all over the face. We call it zipper face. I'm out here going and getting it. And then I literally tell him, I'm like, yo, wake up, zipper faces. It's 1.20 in the morning. The trade is about to play out. Then, then would you look at that? But it's not only that. I sent this trade completely on Sunday. And you can see right there, perfect trade analysis for the sell, perfect trade analysis for the sell. So currently right now on this trade, I am very confident. I'm just going to keep holding it. If anything, keep scaling. But for now, we're just going to set and forget and let this trade do its thing. AUD USD didn't make it to break and retest under. And neither of these other trades have broken above or under. So we're just going to keep our focuses on the trade right now that is currently making us the profits and that it is looking very, very, very solid. And I mean, like this shows you guys how like I've literally turned a hundred dollars into six figures by just following my trading plan. I've been doing the same thing now for two months. Obviously my goal was to turn the hundred dollars into the mill by now. 
obviously in the challenge, I realized that that's actually very difficult. It, that's not, it's easier said than done, right? So I'm about 900K away, but I'm just like a couple flips away. I'd say I'm about seven to eight good trades away from turning this 100K into a mil now. Because if I was able to turn $100 into 100K, I can definitely turn 100K into a mil. So um, it only gets easier from here. But this just shows you guys that the consistency, I'm here every single day, showing the traders every single day, showing you guys every single day, waking up every single day, and just doing my routine every single day. I haven't traveled outside of my home during this whole entire challenge because I want to focus on this challenge. I love traveling. I would love to, you know, be right now in Cape Town. I would love to be right now in Dubai, in Spain, or New York right now for Fashion Week. I would love to be in all those places, you know, just meeting cool people because I'm able to do it. I'm a profitable trader. I have freedom. I'm young. I can do all that stuff. But I want to show you guys that this is possible first. I feel like my duty as a person that has come from nothing to be able to be living in a neighborhood like this, to be able to having cars like the ones that I have, is to be transparent and show you guys that this is possible. So don't take this for granted what I'm doing because nobody's going to put this type of dedication into this journey so somebody else can replicate it and have and have success with it as well. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make this challenge possible. And then after that, I'll reward, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll reward it myself. But in the meantime, let's get back to work. Eating snacks before the gym. We're going to go get... Wait, we gotta get the sunlight in there. So you can see like the bicep. You see the bicep more in the sun? No? Alright. I gotta hit 160 this week and then I'll be done for the week. So you still gonna make another 60? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there though. I'll get there. I mean, it's only Tuesday, bro. So. Sheesh. All right, trade update. So it is currently 10.30 at night. So I was supposed to update this a little bit earlier, but I was out on the road and I anticipated this pullback to perfection. Did it come back to the zone where I wanted to so I can add a position in the trade? But nonetheless, we're looking good. So let me show you right now where we are on the count. So right now we're still in the both same trades and we're at $120,000 floating profit. And honestly, it feels good to be back in these profits. Like I haven't been in these type of profits, I think in almost like a month and a half because I obviously I've been scaling the account from, you know, hundred bucks to where it is now. So now, you know, back to the 40, 50 K days, it's been good. So let me show you guys what I meant today in the trade, right? So AUD CAD, we anticipated for the daily time frame to then close very bearish ideally i don't love the fact of how it did not body close under this point right here this daily candlestick never body close under which is not great but i did expect for this wick pullback to come back and retest these body structures here and that is where i drew out this black line so it retests those body structures there and then on the four hour time frame that retesting that structure point would be retesting this left shoulder in a way and this structure point here as well as you can see price never came back all the way up into that area so i was never able to add a position into the trade but when it retested that zone it was going to also retest the one hour ema so i was going to look to add a position at this point right here but we simply didn't make it to that point by a couple of pips. But nonetheless, the direction of the market is still headed in our favor. So the next trade that I'm looking to enter is going to be the break and then retest of this zone right here. So we can continue scaling the trade to the downside. AUD USD, we are still waiting for the same exact thing in order for us to enter this trade, which is going to be a break and retest to then sell. NZDJPY, we are still waiting for a break and retest to go to the upside. And then AUDJPY, we're waiting for a break and retest to either side. So we're into the trade right now that's having clear momentum. That's why you want to enter a trade that has all time frames in sync. So, so far looking good. And we are currently floating about $44,000 in profit. Send and forget. All right, trade update. So it is currently 10, 18 in the morning. So last night's trade hit our take profit perfectly. I even sent my daily DJ Khaled message to tell you guys, close to trade, wake up, zipper faces. So let me show you. So right here you guys can see $130,000 right now on the account from the $100. It's crazy because it's, it's hitting me, right? And we're officially at the six figure mark yesterday. We were floating in profit like that, but now we're officially closed profit there. So let me show you guys. So this is currently where the uh, the trade is right now. 
So I low key regret closing where I closed because I do believe this has so much more downside potential, but I'll be adding an entry very, very soon. If we do get the entry signal, basically price came down last night, hit our take profit area. And I literally sent a message in my free telegram. You guys can see here, six forty in the morning. I know a lot of y'all hugging your pillow, putting slob all over it, with the zippers in it, and flicking wounds all over the face. We call it zipper face. Zipper face. Wake up. We gotta get this money. So now this trade has officially been closed. Very solid trade setup. I do believe we are going to continue heading to the downside though if we reject this area of interest right here on the lower time frame, which we technically already are, as you can see, we're doing that as we speak. But I feel like the safer entry is going to be once we break this area and then retest it to then continue heading to the downside. That's going to be the safer trade. And it's what I'm going to be expecting to do. It is currently Tuesday. I mean, no, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday, 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 1020 in the morning. But this challenge has me crazy because I'm trading in London and New York at the same time, so I don't know. But whatever. So let me show you guys. So next trade that we got is going to be AUD USD, which AUD USD we have been waiting for this break and retest here, which you still haven't gotten it. Just waiting, being patient on that. The next trade is going to be ANZD NZDJPY, which is going to be the break and retest of the zone, which it looks like we're finally about to break out. But we still have about six hours left on this daily candlestick. So once that daily candlestick closes, then we will pretty much wait for it to break and retest. AUDJPY, we are currently still stuck in the same spot. So our main focus will remain here for now because this is the one that's giving us the majority of the profits. And if we body close under this right here, that means we're body closing under the neckline of the head and shoulders, which is going to give this humongous downside potential. So we're gonna, for now, set and forget. And yeah, see where this trade takes us. So we're gonna probably not take any trades for the rest of the day. I think we're not going to get an entry signal now. and we're just going to enjoy the rest of our day and then check back in tonight during London session. So check it. All right, trade update. It's currently 1130 at night. I feel like I do the updates the same time, but at AM PM, does that make any sense? Whatever. The point is that, let me just show you. Still exactly the same. We haven't taken any other trades on the account. Right now, the trade where we pulled out was perfect. Let me show you. So right here. You can tell that we got out at our take profit area. I was low key regretting pulling out earlier this morning because there was still a lot more profit left on the table, but trade obviously bounced back from that area. I don't really like how the daily rejected this zone right here because I would have loved if the daily candlestick would have body closed under that zone. We didn't body close under, so now we're rejecting, but I do like how we are pulling back right now, right before a London session. So now what I'm going to expect is for an, any rejections from this zone right here, pretty much how we've done it in the past. And I'm going to be waiting for a clean entry signal, which we kind of already had it. But we got to see if now in the lower time frame we could get another bearish engulfing from this area where it can potentially give us a head and shoulders at this area of interest right here. And then if not, I'm going to simply be waiting for the trade once it does exactly what I've been anticipating, which is pretty much break this area, retest it to keep heading to the downside. AUD USD, we haven't broken under the area in order for me to sell. No trade. Very simple. NZDJPY, we have broken above the area. And now it looks like we're going to be retesting this zone, which is very solid, not as strong as of a break as I've been anticipating. So I have to be pretty much on the lookout, but I do like how it's kind of retesting this zone right here. I'm going to be on the lookout to see if we can get a clean entry signal at this area. And then last but not least is AUDJPY, which we've managed to have a push to the upside, but not break through this resistance level. So I'm going to put my focus right now on NZDJPY for some trades long during London session, and then AUDCAD for some shorts during London session as well. So check back up with you guys tomorrow in the morning if I don't take anything tonight in London. So once again, 11.30 p.m. All right, what's up guys? So trade update, I actually haven't done a trade update because I completely forgot I was trading London last night and then basically the uh, the camera is not here. So I just completely forgot. But trade update right now on the trade, let me show you guys how it's looking.
So this is the trade currently explained exactly as I explained it. You guys can see how last night I was basically anticipating for trade to have a rejection from that right shoulder right there. And we had that entry beautiful. Everybody on Instagram caught it everywhere. This trade happened to perfection. We had the bearish engulfing candlestick. Then we had the push, the pullback. I had my stop loss strategically placed above the wick in that zone. This is how we are currently looking on the account. We're up about $9,000. Went relatively low risk on this trade. If this trade ends up being able to fulfill all the way to the downside, we might be able to hit our goal of 160 for the week. Um, but yeah, looking pretty solid. The fact that we still have this very strong support level holding price up is a little bit of a turnoff. I really don't like that, but I mean, it is what it is. You just have to so I forget <laughs> into the trade goes. So if it does break and retest this zone, I will be adding a position very, very soon. So looking solid. If it from here needs 20,000 more to go. So trade update, it is currently one o'clock in the morning. Forgot to kind of update earlier this morning, but the trade came back, took us out of break even, and I kind of missed another trade. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. Like sucks because i don't think we're going to be able to hit our goal like i'm trading london right now one in the morning trying to see if we can get those last 30k to reach our goal but let's see let me show you guys we currently are in the account 131,000. so we were probably have about 10,000 total on the trade but we are rejecting very very strong this zone right here this is why i want to sell once we break and retest under the zone so we have actually been struggling to break through this and that's exactly where we had the rejection from to come back up now i just wanted to show you guys that if i would have not closed that break even would have pretty much hit our stop loss so right now the account is looking i mean this trade is looking okay like maybe we can add a sell here potentially for london session um i am gonna keep on the lookout though i'm not 100 percent there i'm gonna see if you get a nice bearish engulfing here if not, my efforts will come back and be on NZD JPY. If you guys can tell, this is what we explained yesterday. We explained I was looking for the break and retest to take the trade up. We had the beautiful break, beautiful retest, and we're going up. So uh kind of missed it in a way, but I do think we can pull back again next week and enter it. It is currently right now, September 15th, 1 o'clock in the morning. So it's Friday, 1 in the morning. So we have a couple hours left in the market. Nothing else in the market's really interesting me. That's never broken, retested under to then sell. So I'm gonna see if we can potentially get some sales here. If not, we'll just wait for this one next week. All right, what's up guys? So I'm not gonna lie, I woke up a little bit late. It is currently right now, 12 o'clock in the morning. Well, in the afternoon, because honestly, trading the London session really got to me. And it kind of played out in my way. I did miss the trade that I was anticipating last night, but it is what it is. I don't really care about it because I have a really high expectation for what the market is going to do next week. So it is what it is. I didn't hit my target for the week, but let me show you guys what the market is lining up for next week. I think it is very, very solid. And I think next week, not only are we going to reach our goal, but I think we're going to surpass it. So this is AUDUSD. You guys can see how last night we were anticipating for price to either break and retest to then head to the downside or come back into this area, how it did, and then have our rejection from here. And that's exactly what we did. So I did not take the trade. I was totally knocked out last night. If you guys can see, we have the left head and then pretty much the right shoulder right here with the bearish engulfing. But look at the time that that trade was lining up. 3.45 in the morning. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm human. Last night, I completely fell asleep. This would have been the entry that I would have taken. Stop loss above. We would be in decent profit. I don't know if it would have been enough to get our profits for the week. But what I do like is that it is respecting this zone. So this gives me high indication that next week we're going to have a very, very solid move on this trade. You guys can tell we are currently still rejecting it, but there's not much time left in the market. It's currently Friday, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So there's not much momentum that the market can still have with pretty much four hours left in the market before it closes. So for now, I'm going to remain with the same bias and that is I'm going to only sell at the break and retest of this zone next week. You can tell we're very, very strongly supporting above it. And we've been pretty much accumulating in this area. And this is what I was explaining to the people on my Instagram. We've been accumulating at this area for pretty much 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. So for the last eight days, it's accumulating. You guys know once price accumulates, it's gonna do something, right? It's gonna accumulate and then blow up or accumulate and then blow down. But after us identifying that we have all these three time frames bearish, we have a high indication that this accumulation is going to keep going to the downside because we know where the real trend of the market is. So this is why I have a very high expectation of this going to the downside. And then next we have NZD JPY, which we basically technically missed, but it came back to give us another entry. The same thing as AUD USD. I strongly think this trade is going to give us a solid, solid setup for next week. But before that, let me show you guys where the account is right now. You guys can see the account is at 131,000. So we didn't hit our goal by 29,000 for the week. But this pair right here, we've been we've been anticipating all week for it to break out. So we can pretty much leave all of this accumulation right here. If you notice, we've been accumulating for almost 48 days in this zone. So now we're finally having the break out of that zone retesting, and now it's gonna keep heading to the upside. And it's a very perfect example compared to AUD CAD because we're having the accumulation here, but to head to the downside, that's where the majority of the trend is. And then here, we're going to have the accumulation and break up to the upside because that is where the majority of the trend is. The weekly time frame is bullish, the daily time frame is bullish and the four hour time frame is bullish so that's why the accumulation is going to indicate to us that we're going to head to the upside so this trade right here last night i said the only way i would take it is if it pulls back look at that perfect pullback but i could only take it next week so very very solid trade setups next week i think this might be my number one and this be my my might be my number two pair for next week so i'm very very excited for next week so obviously we didn't hit our goal for the week which was 160,000, which obviously sucks you know we want to hit our goal because my goal is every single week to double up from the original uh starting balance so i was supposed to be at 160 this week but it's okay because i feel like the markets all of this week they've been setting up to give me a high probability setup for next week meaning that the fact that i caught profitable trades this week and i made money on the account is a huge plus because I strongly, strongly do believe that the pairs have been setting up all of this week to have the big move next week. So I do believe next week we can have not only solid moves, but we can also have more profits than we were initially supposed to have because of these pairs loading up all week. So I'm very excited. Um, you know, obviously this week, the London session did take a toll on me. It was very frustrating. It was very tiring but did pay off for the time that i did do it um i'm gonna organize my sleep schedule a little bit better uh the last thing that i did learn this week was get some rest you know we've been doing this now for two months so i've been learning a lot as myself i'm learning more from the markets i'm always a student of the markets and i'm getting closer to the goal i'm almost there and uh i'm excited i'm excited for what's gonna happen next week so make sure you guys tune in to week nine all right so let's have a recap of how this week went so we started off monday morning with AUD CAD, where we entered the trade, you guys saw that we were in a little bit of drawdown, but the trade went into profit shortly after that, right? The trade went into profit. We were anticipating for price to not only continue going down, but then have a pullback with the trade. That is where we entered the second position on the AUD CAD that gave us a good amount of profit, which didn't get us to our goal of 160 for the week, but we ended up closing at the take profit zone with that strong area of interest that AUD CAD keeps on rejecting from. And that's where we closed at about $130,000 in profit. Then that's where we waited for price and have the pullback go to the next area of interest and then there we added the next position which is going to give us the last profits of our trade where it's going to give us our goal of 160 for the week but obviously price didn't do that went into some profit we went back into that strong supports level and then we rejected from it and we you know got out right at break even didn't make any money and we didn't hit our goal of 160 for the week but this is a perfect week to show you guys how less is more just like the last week before because you don't need to take a bunch of trades you only traded one pair for this week and we're taking the same exact trade same exact strategy and i do this every single week you guys have been following along now for two months in this journey you guys are not only seeing how i'm doing it but how thousands of my students are doing it with the set and forget strategy that allows any of them to make a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner using my set and forget strategy. If you want to know more about what the set and forget is and like actually like what does it mean? I have a link in the description below that defines what the set and forget means. It's a full video that explains how set and forget works, how I came up with it, and how traders use it to make numbers like a thousand a week, two thousand, even three thousand dollars a week using my beginner set and forget strategy. So if you guys want to know more about that, click the link in the description below, and I will see you guys next week for the series because now we're gonna to try to take this 130 to about a quarter mil 300k. We're almost at the million dollar goal. So see you guys next week. So I forget.